today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with the first part of palette of the month for July and I don't have any more palettes that starts with an a J. I only had two so I asked my friend Julia for help. Julia is such an amazing Persia person we talk a lot on Instagram and she is so supportive and she is one of the most creative persons I know. I love her makeup looks and I was like, okay, I'm going to ask Julia because I just wanted to do that. So she had, had have picked out, oh my God, what's up with me? She has picked out the palette of the month for me and you have to go and check Julia on Instagram. Her name is Julia Galaxy. I will leave a link down in the description and here is some of the looks she use, usually do and she inspires me a lot. So, the palette she picked is a Moonspell by Lunar Beauty and when she said maybe you can take Moonspell, I was like, yes, I want to do that. I think I have done two videos with this before. First impression of palette bingo. I don't know if there is any more, but the palette looks like this. I love it. It's one of the, it's the best packaging I have on a palette and today in this one I am doing a purple look. I have been so like I just want to do purple and I don't know what's happening to me because I don't like purple but purple it is and purple I will do. I don't know if I'm going to use all of the shades in the top row but I'm going to use at least four of them. So I will start with page of this one and take it in my crease and then deepen it down my crease with Sabrina. Should I tell you all I'm going to do? I don't know. I'm a little bit off today. It's so freaking windy outside. Maybe I should close the window before it breaks. So I will start with page in my crease. And maybe I'm going to start to like purple this year. We will see. But it has just been for like maybe over a week now and I have been like I want to do a purple look so much and I don't know why because I don't think purple suits me that good and I just am not a fan of purple like on anything but sometimes I get like this like sometimes I just want to do a blue look and I can't stop thinking about it This feels really good and I'm just going to smudge this in my crease. Something like that. And then I'm going in with Sabrina, the dark purple, and just deepen down my crease. And I don't want to take this like in my whole crease, maybe just out here. Or maybe I want to take it in my whole crease. Yes, I think I will do that. The Sabrina was really good. Purples can sometimes be like a little bit hard to work with. I don't work with a lot of purples, so maybe I don't know that much, but some purples I have are really like hard to work with, but this was so easy. And it blended out so good with the other shade in my crease and I actually want to take Sabrina like on, on an outer part of my lid as well just like a little bit out here and can you hear the window? I have a microphone and sometimes it feels like it's like only picking up my voice and nothing else but I don't know. Okay, this palette is a little bit heavy to hold, so my hand is like falling asleep. Strong hands. Um, I'm going in with Piper on the rest of my lid. And this has... 
some shimmer to it. So I will just take it here. And I hope that you don't mind that I am doing like easy, simple, all the same looks all the time, just different colors. I sometimes feel a little bit bad about that, but at the same time, this is me. <laughs> okay, I really like this. I'm putting it also over like the crease color I had. The Sabrina, I just want to go in with Sabrina a little bit more in my out here, in my out here. And just get a little bit of better blend. And do you see this crazy amount of fallouts? I never do my base <laughs> first because this usually happens. And I also want to be able to like put on and just slap as much shadow and really really pack it on without worrying about fallouts. So if some shades look like they have a lot of fallouts when I do my makeup it's not sure that they will do for you because I am not careful a bit. Like 0% careful. I just slap the shadow on because I want it to go pretty fast and if I know that I want the shade to be intense and want to be much, I just want to put on as much as I can. So I am sure that you can like avoid fallouts, but for me, I just don't care. And also because I like to see like the contrast from this and then I take away my fallouts, fix my base and my brows and come back and look like a completely different person. I like that as well. Took it up here. Fudge. Now I have to do it on this as well. Why did I do like that? Maybe I can take this away. Because I don't like how it became in here. I will try to take it away when I take away the fallouts. Okay, I am really happy with this. It looks so like cohesive. It's blended together so so good so i will take away the fallout fix my base and try to fix this because i don't want it that far in if i don't succeed i have to do the same on the other eye but i think like with dry q-tip a little just a little bit of water or something it should work so i'll <laughs> fix my base and then i come back so for my under eyes i will just do the same. I will not take the shimmers. I will take Paige and Sabrina, the one that I had in my crease and the purple out here. So I will first take Paige and just smudge it underneath my eyes. And then I'm going in with Sabrina, the dark one, and just put it out here to connect and get a little more dimension to my lower lash. You know the drill. And then I actually want to go in with Phoebe and this one and put it in my inner corner. And I actually think I would spray it because I really want it to be intense. Maybe this is pretty like similar to the shimmer on my lid, but I wanted to keep the look. I could have taken Prue the lightest in this palette, but I wanted to have it really, really purple. And I really think that I need both mascara, something in my waterline, and a lippy. Because at the moment I think I look a little bit sick. It's so much here, but it's not like all done and it's nothing here. So I will put on mascara and try to choose a lippy. I have no idea what I want. This I think is why I don't like purple looks because I don't know what put on my lips. So I will fix that and then I come back with the finished look. Okay, so this is the finished look for my waterline. I used Piggy Bang from Colourpop and on my lips I used Immersion from Kali 
Kaleidos, Kaleidos, Kaleidos. And I really like this look. It it feels good to have done like a whole complete purple look because I've been craving purple for some reason. I don't know though if it suits me purple. I don't think it does because it feels like it doesn't go to my pale, pale skin. It feels like it makes me look paler and I am like embracing my paleness but I don't know. But yeah, that was my first part with Moon Spell as the palette of the month for July. Thank you so much, Julia, for picking out this palette. It's going to be so fun. We will see how many looks I will do with this this month. I think it will be three looks. I'm trying to do like one look a week. Is it three weeks or is it four weeks? It should be three weeks. One, two, oh, it's four weeks I can do. Four looks I can do. do. Holy smokes. So I really hope you like this video. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye.